I was definitely a skeptic. So creepy. I didn't believe in ghosts or the paranormal or any of it. But my girlfriend Jessica was obsessed with all that unexplained stuff. We'd been together for a little over a year when she convinced me to go on a, an investigation with her and her friend Jeff. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Well, just Jeff. Jeff, what you doing up there? Not doing a thing. Do you hear that? I heard it too. I thought it was you. Never mind, we'll be up in a few minutes. Copy, Al. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you okay? Yep, yep. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, I just slipped on something. Be careful. Ready? You want to go upstairs? Yeah. I'm not sure why I put the thimble in my pocket in the first place, but something about taking it home with me just didn't feel right. clock had stopped, and the second hand was making this weird clicking sound. <gasps> Jess? Jess? Jessica? Jessica? Jess, are, are you okay? Why, why did you scream? Oh, yeah. I just, I just had this really bad dream, and you weren't here, and then... Why'd you lock the door? I didn't lock the door. Let's go back to bed. Okay. Yeah. I figured I probably closed the door behind me, and it jammed. I could feel the cuts on my face, but I convinced myself that my mind had been playing tricks on me. Jess, I don't feel good. Why? You don't like me? No. No, it's not that. It's just... <laughs> <laughs>
how did the thimble even get into my house? At that point, I had to tell Jessica what was going on. What is that? I found it at the brothel. You're not supposed to take stuff from those places. I didn't bring it home. I left it there. But I found it under the bed tonight. What? I don't know, Jess. Something's going on. I've been having lots of visions. Visions of blood, and I saw a woman in our bed last night. Is that why you were acting all crazy? I'm not crazy. When Tim told me about the things that he'd been seeing, you were just acting really strange. I couldn't help but wonder if it had to do with that thimble. So I went back and I started looking at the pictures from the investigation a few nights before that. Oh my God, Tim, you need to see this. It looked like a woman standing in the middle of the basement. Are you seeing this? When I came to, he had just disappeared. I'm definitely hearing. After Jessica told me what she had seen, she suggested that we call a psychic for help. I loved her, very violent love. She, she's rejecting him, she calls him a penniless pig. And... He felt a female spirit that had been a prostitute and a male spirit that was in love with her. Is it still here? Is what still here? An object. It's small. It's um, metal. It's something dear to her. Very, very small. Um, oh, I need to take that with me. I have to find that. It is the only way to release their souls. Why is it important? It's how they met. How they met? What do you mean? Uh, back in that era, the women of the brothel would be inside with a thimble on their finger. As the men passed on the street, the women would tap, tap at the glass. Since that thimble was what started their relationship in the first place, he believed that if he removed it from our house, that the activity would stop. Something brought it here. Someone, I, you want another beer? Yeah, I, yeah, I do, thanks. So what if you really didn't bring the thimble home? Or what if he followed me or she followed you? Or what if she followed you and he followed her? And the thimble doesn't mean anything. And now they're just here. <laughs> 